the formula, the best thing, as I mentioned, to do is look at the first two numbers. Remember, when we found the first term of the number, what did we do with the 1? We plugged the 1 in for n, right? So let's pretend we did that. Let's pretend, let's plug in 1 in for n. Then if we have 1, what do I need to do to get to negative 3? You can multiply by negative 3. OK. So you do negative 3 times 1. Now, if we use that same formula, so they're saying you're saying the formula is negative 3 times n. So now let's plug in 2. Negative 3 times 2. Does that work for the next one? Does that give you negative 2? No. So negative 3n doesn't work. Hey, but guess what? You tried something, right? There's nothing wrong with trying it and saying, oh, guess what? That didn't work. Because what can you do now? Try again. So negative 3n doesn't work. Fine, cool. What else could I do to 1 to get to negative 3? Multiply negative 3. Well, we already did that, and that didn't work. So I could, you could divide, but we're not going to go through dividing and fractions or anything like that. So let's look at add and subtracting. Subtract 4. Does 1 minus 4 give you negative 3? Yes. Okay. What about when I do 2? Does that give you negative 2? Yes, so our formula, ladies and gentlemen, is n minus 4. And if you guys keep on applying this, this you guys see that it's always going to work. Is this group attempt? Yep. 